Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Hard West. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you should so join me today for what is a quite tough second battle for this game. I uh, was listening to the soundtrack in between episodes because I was just copying over my files, just to make sure I don't uh, screw my recording up. And this soundtrack is pretty great. I, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. It's a, it, has a, uh, it has a little bit of a uh, vampire bloodlines feel to it. Uh, if you ever played that game, but it, I am I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying the soundtrack, and I'm enjoying the the setting as well. Although we have not found any monsters or anything. Okay, so that was expendable, unless that guy kills him, which might be a terrible thing. Okay, is he gonna be able to shoot? Nope, he's not gonna be able to shoot. Okay, so he's over there, but he's gonna be able to come here, which is terrible. So let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do. I need to reload, so that is also a bad thing. So let's go back. He doesn't know where we are. He can't see us from there. So we can go there and reload now. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, so as long as he doesn't kill us, because that one, that, this guy is gonna die. This guy, not this guy, please. No, this guy, yeah. Yeah, this guy is gonna die. That one, that one not. That one, though. Uh, let's see. So he's back there. He can shoot me if I go there. He's gonna be able to shoot me if I stay here. So what I can do is I can come back here. Let's... Let's see, let's see, can I, can I go there? Yeah, that's, that might be a good idea. That might be a very good idea, but let's hope that it is. Let's hope that it is. I don't, I don't usually tout my own, or toot my own horn. So let's shoot this guy for four damage. So let's do that, and he's gonna die. Although, he might be still under, under threat from that one. Enemy turn, let's see how that goes. Okay, so I don't know where, now, now that, that's my problem right there, is that I don't know where they are. So let's see what I can do. I can always come here. Let's let's go there. Is he here? He's over there, but he's protected. He's, he's behind cover. That is not good. So I can attack him for one damage, which is terrible. Let's use this one instead and see how that works. One damage still. Let's not do that then. Let's go back there. I think that might be a good idea. Let's go back there. And uh, don't mess around. So you from there... You're gonna stay there, and you're gonna reload your weapon. How the hell do you... Did I not reload your weapon before? Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're gonna stay there, backspace to skip the turn. Uh, yours... Oh, you're still there. What the hell? What's wrong with... Why can't I... There we go. Okay, so this works like that. I didn't I didn't figure that out before. Uh, you can skip... You can change your character. Um, yeah, didn't, didn't know that. Just like in XCOM. Just like in XCOM. So, uh... Yeah, you're gonna do that. Let's see what I can do. He's still there, so I I wanna I don't wanna mess this up too much. But I should be able to attack him with my shotgun if I use Sheesh over here, however that name is pronounced. So I know he's there, so I can just come here and he's gonna die, right? I think so. Six damage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mission complete. Down and down down down. Straight out of here. If only your perspective was lucky enough. If only, if only. So, let's continue playing, I guess. Though you survived the attack, father was worried. He said you should build an underground escape tunnel in case another attack, but he, in case of another attack. But he also wanted to call the, you uh, wanted you to call the shots. Huh. Well, it is a good idea. I'm not gonna say no to that. It is a good idea. Let's do that. Father said he'd take care of the materials and construction. Meanwhile, the bandits were attacking elsewhere. You ran to make sure Florence was safe. So Florence, that's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> not... <laughs> just Florence. I don't care about the parents. Who cares? I, like, just a girl. The cute little girl with... It's not... Probably not that little. Let's go there, then. Let's kill some more raiders. Florence's parents didn't survive the raid. You found her among the dead, weeping. She followed you home and never left. She never spoke of it, but brought fresh flowers to their house in their memory every week. While you were gone, your father had a visitor. A well-dressed gentleman with a peculiar accent who seemed to appear out of nowhere. His magnificent clone almost concealed his curious sulfur aroma. It's the devil, I tell you! It's the devil! That's pretty, pretty clear. Could he be? No, that was madness. <laughs> No, yeah, uh, unless he's mining sulfur, it could be, it could be mining sulfur, I guess. The, was it mined back back in the 1800s? Uh, I don't know. 
The, gen the gentleman was quite persuasive, convincing Father to spend most of his cash on a lucky amulet. He was fed up with struggling, running scared from bandits, crime lords, and the weather. And the weather. He wanted the prospecting business to take off and fast. Still, though, Father seemed loath to discuss the matter. He downplayed the power of the trinket, insisting it probably wouldn't work. Still, things improved. Father swiftly found new digging sites and extraction was efficient. Soon, he was able to buy a better mining license. Pretty cool, pretty cool then. We got, uh, do we have tools to use an, uh, I mean, unorth unorthodox? Is that, is that the word that they used? Um, I mean, we could have tools, right? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, some time has passed anyway. Uh, so, let's see. Let's go to the collapsed mine then. Do we have tools? That's the thing. You've heard about this place, a rich mine that collapsed years ago on top of a bunch of miners, burying them alive. Their wives and children still decorate the entrance with flowers. It looked like you could squeeze in, maybe get some of the gold they found. Well, it might not have been the smartest idea to do, but you got in. As you reached for the first opening, you found a skeleton with its legs crushed under a boulder. You wondered if he bled out before he died of thirst. His shirt, though, stained was still intact and of very good quality. Well, eh, eh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna save after this one, because uh, if the game hasn't saved for me, I think the game has saved. But let's see, you decided to go even deeper. The next cavern was cramped and full of stale air. You found a little gold, but still not much. Uh, well, uh, it was all too much. You headed back to this. Should I? Should I? I don't know, guys. I kind of since I'm doing this on camera I want to take risks because I want you guys to know you know I find it enjoyable when when uh, when uh, let's see you move onwards wondering how far it w it was to the bottom the stale air is gonna kill me though wounded and weary you eventually reach the end of the farthest tunnel and there inside a massive stash of gold the air must have poisoned you because as you went to pick it up you hallucinated a tall man in a suit smiling and smoking it's the same guy as you turned to leave he said just so we're clear, that's mine, but you can borrow it for a while. Oh boy, that was the devil again! As you inched your way back to the sunlight, you heard a low rumbling all around you. You hurried, hands trembling, heavy drops of sweat rolling down your face. You had just emerged, blinking into the sunlight when the mine collapsed behind you. Oh boy, we gained a bunch of stuff, and we borrowed some money, some gold, from the devil! <laughs> oh well, whatever, I guess. Uh, well. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I said this last episode, I'm not sure if our choices really matter in this game. I hope they do, because I enjoy that, you know me, I'm, I know me, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, we'll see, we'll see, at least we got some gold. Uh, let's go to the Prospectors cave, camp here. Prospectors, led by Alexander Kane, have been collecting, had been collecting gold using rinsing pans. Kane had vast knowledge of blazer gold retrieving techniques, so you, we can spend some money to increase our ability to gain gold. I guess we're gonna go with the most expensive technique then. You learned how to retrieve gold using a sluice, sluice through. I don't know what that is, but it's probably awesome. Uh, it costs a 300 gold though, but well, let's see if, if that... In the... In the... In the long term, anyway. I was gonna say medium term. Is that... Medi is that anyway. <laughs> the side had been very popular back when... This is the excavation field. Back when prospecting was new in these parts. But most had given up on it. So let's use... Let's see how much we gain. 22. Pretty good. Because now we have... Oh, wait a minute. The Mexican crying lord raised your tax by 20%? Uh, does that play? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's go with that. The maximum cut, okay, the, the cut was 4, I gained four, uh, 17, that's pretty good. Maximum crime lot raises your tax to 25%. Okay, so we shouldn't, we probably shouldn't, yeah. Yeah, we probably shouldn't rinse too much. Character is left, for Florence. Why? You realized too late that your gold had made the Mexican powerful. He demanded more and more of your profits, and there was little way to stop him. Proud, brave Florence went to parley with the, cram with the criminal, hoping to appeal to his kinder nature. She knew you would never allow it, so left without telling you, leaving you just a note. But the Mexican had no better nature to appeal to. Florence never returned. You immediately prepared to bust her out. Let's do that! Let's do that! I don't care about this guy. Let's kill him. Is that cheek guy? Is that chic? There was 
that was where Florence was being held, the Mexican town. Well, we went on to rescue her. So yeah, he left us the thing gushing wound. No, how do I take care of that? How do I fix that one? That is bad. Uh, let's see. We have more cards. Let's see. Ten of hearts. This is fire a bullet that shoots through everything and is sure to hit anything. This is fantastic. I want that. Give me that. Thank you. Uh, Ace of spades grants random powerful bonuses. Sure thing, I guess. I'm the ace of spades. I don't. I can't remember the song off, off the top of my head. So uh, that's the okay. How do I fix that though? Three. That's terrible. How does that go away? Is that gonna stay there forever? It might. But no, we can't. It's a gushing wound. How the hell? Anyway, let's keep moving. Let's uh, rescue Florence. Hopefully, hopefully things are gonna go well for us this time around. Well, you talked with Florence through a barred window. To get her out, you'd need the key. This same key could also be used to lock the guards inside the house. Uh, well, that's our choice then. Do we want to... Mm. So, set up. Evade enemies. Once suspicious, they will eventually attack. Subdue them to relay to delay re reaction. So, where is the guard? This is ours too. There might be a guard back there. So, let's see what I can do. Uh, let's send... Uh, Oh, I can control her? Okay, that's cool. I can control her already. That's pretty good then. Uh, let's see. Let's control Warren from here. I don't know what that is. Is that a level up? It might be a level up or something. We'll see to that how, how that, that works later. Uh, let's send you there. See if I can see anybody. I don't think I can. There's nothing back. There's no one back here. Uh, so there's a guard there. Okay, there it is. There's a guard there. Is there anyone else around? Uh, oh, the door is on the other side. God damn it. Um, oh, the camera moved very, very quickly for some reason. Can I jump over this? It could be. It could work like that. Let's, let's go there then. Okay. There's a guard there. He didn't see me, so let's go there. What the hell is that? Find the jail key. Okay, so that must be the jail key. So can I take cover somewhere else? I can't because... Hmm, I can't. That's a shame. Could go there, but let's not. Let's stay here for now. Okay, so now I could subdue him. Uh, how do I. Oh, yeah, subdue. How the hell does that work? Well, let's find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait up. Wait, there it is. Select an enemy to subdue. Oh, for four turns based on character heat. Oh, okay. So I, do I want that or do I just kill them? For four turns? I mean. Let's go there. Oh, you're you're very very slow, Mister. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, let's bring you back here. He's not gonna be able to see me, is he? I hope he that is not. Okay, so can I subdue him? Hope that I can. Let's see. Confirm. Yeah. Guard. How the hell do, does that work? It's just him. Okay, there it is. Okay. There it is. Okay, so he can't move for four turns. So now I can. I definitely can. So let's go there. Can you go there? Can you go there? Please go there. Okay, let's go there first then. You can only move one turn. Oh, that's terrible. That's kind of terrible. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna have to subdue him. Can you subdue him from there? There it is. Stick him up. Okay, so you. Please. Oh, there's a guard there. How the hell do I do that then? Uh, can I shoot him? This might be a terrible idea, but we're gonna do that. Nope, this was a terrible idea. This was a terrible idea, that guy's gonna shoot that crap out of us. This was a terrible idea, okay, so, uh, let's see. Father, can you shoot that guy? That's the guy that I wanted you to shoot. You don't have line of sight, though, I don't think. So, you can go back there. How the hell? Is that a, what the hell is that? Oh, we can't move for right now? Okay, so he, he only he can move. Okay, so you can shoot him, I think, for five damage. Yeah, please do. There it is. Okay, so he's out in the open, which is terrible. That guy's gonna go, go around there. We're gonna kill everybody. That's all there that is to it. It's kinda, that was a terrible move on my part, but at least I know. Okay, there, there goes his luck. There goes his luck being spent. Uh, okay, so if I... Okay, there it is. So, nope. Thank you. 
Oh, minus five. That was massively bad. That was not good. You need to stop that, mister. Go there. Uh, you can attack, though. You can attack that bastard. Let's kill him, then. Retribution. Was yours. Vengeance was mine, indeed. Was that the Mexican? Good. Good. Mexican dead. Now, I have nothing against Mexicans, but against that one, I sure do. Sure do. Let's see if I can... There it is. That's good. So let's see who I can shoot for. 64, 69%. Let's damage 5 if I hit. He's dead. Let's hope that he is. And that he is. Man, that, that was gruesome. Okay, uh, he had something over there. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's see. I have line of sight. Six, 55. That is kind of terrible. Let's hope that he hits. And he did, but only for one. What is that? Prayer? Why would I do that? Why would you want to do that? Anyway, let's save her. She's more important than prayer. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. Shut up. Let's go there. Can you do that for me? No? Why not? Why can't you go there? Oh, we don't have enough action points. That's fine. Okay, so... I just need to... Kill. Okay, this guy's coming around here. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die, isn't he? Oh, there's another one there. That's kind of bad. Okay, so... I can... What is that? Oh, that's the golden bullet! Let's do that. Can I... Let's do that. Aha! Dead. That's like, not, I don't know what to think of that. That's like a pact with the devil in itself. Oh, I need the key. That's why, oh, god damn it. I'm so, so dumb sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> so let's go back there, I think. Back there, I think, is a good idea. He's a little bit protected. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, so I could, oh, if only fanning would work, but it doesn't. Oh, and I can't, I don't have enough action points. That's also a thing. So these guys are protected. Oh, let's hope that I can kill that guy. Nope. Okay. Okay, so he's getting protection from there. He's gonna shoot me and kill me. No, he missed. That's very good. So now I probably have... Oh, there's another one over there. I didn't see that one. Because he was invisible. Uh, let's see. Can I shoot somebody? I can reload, but not really a thing that I want to do. Okay, I should be able to shoot these guys from here. I am. Good. That's perfect. So that guy is not protected. This one here. So can I... Sorry about the shugging. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. So he's down. Uh, let's see what I can do next. Okay, so this guy... 34% chance to hit. Can I ricochet something? Because I, I need to see like a place where I can ricochet. I don't think I can. I don't think there's anything here that, that does that. Okay. Well, if, that, if that's how it is, let's uh, just shoot him then. Hopefully, you'll hit him. You will. Thank you. That was good. Okay, that guy is gonna... Okay, he's gonna wait. That's good as well. So now you, you can go there, and do you have line of sight? You sure do, you sure do, just kill him then. 100, I love 100% chance to hits, I do, I do love them so much. Let's bring you there, I think that might be a good idea, actually, let's bring you over there. Over there, yeah. So, oh, there's, yeah, okay, so this guy's going he, through here, he's gonna, he's gonna shoot me. He's gonna shoot me! Oh, miss, yeah, because I'm protected, yeah, that's good. That's good, okay, so, I should be able to shoot him from back here. I am for 100% chance to hit and he's dead. No, he's not because he has 6 AP. This guy is a bastard. Who the hell is he? Who the hell is he? Does it say over here? Is it Cheech? It's Cheech! God damn you, guy. Die. Just die. Nope. Oh, that was not dying. Okay, so he's gonna be a little bit tougher. Quite a bit tougher to hit. That is a terrible thing that is happening right there. 53% uh, chance to hit. Should I? Can I? Can I do that? Golden bullet? I can golden. That you're dead, man. Once he was free, and there was no one left to pursue you. At last, Florence was free. Down, wow, wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, Florence was free, and now Warren is full is free free to frolic around with her as much as she lets him. <laughs> Reunited again, the two of you returned home, safe and sound, the three of us. A, s a few days later, Father came to you in a panic with the amulet. It was falling apart in his hands. It appeared Father had been cheated by the strange gentleman who had been so devilishly convincing. Well, if he said he was insistent that it probably wouldn't work, so why does he care if he was cheated or not? It's, it wouldn't work, you said that before. No one can meddle in the balance of the world and get away with it, so what happened? Uh, father is no longer affected by amulet power. Oh, that's good. That is a lot of things going on that I'm not paying attention to. That's good. What I meant by good is uh, this thing's appearing here, and I'm, I'm not. 
Yeah, but no one can meddle in the balance of the world and get away with it. Ever onwards, father was jinxed by the cursed trinket. Well, if... Why doesn't he throw it away? Uh, anyway, forever more he brought bad luck wh wherever he went. So I guess that sets up the game. Find a way to lift the curse. Yeah, well, this sets up the next mission. Mm, let's look at our inventory for right now. Let's let's explore these things a little bit better. Okay, so we have here... Sense nearby enemies. Let's use that on that one. Red Joker. No ability on its own, but jokers serve as wild cards for making better hands. It gives plus 1 HP, plus 2 defense, plus 10 luck. That's pretty awesome. Let's give it over there. I think Florence... Florence... What does Florence have? So, let's see. Florence... Uh, so, yeah, by the way, the, the, the stars that I, uh, I thought was level ups. Nope, they were... Uh, they were just the AP. <laughs> okay, so Florence, she has a... Uh, Pepper box. Interesting. So it does... That's 5 damage with 6 ammunition. Pretty good, though. Pretty good, the, though the, sh the range is short. But then again, every range here is short except for the repeater rifle over here. Uh, so, yeah, we could go for... Let's see what we have. Sawed off Cobra. Ooh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. So let's use... Uh, not this one. Let's use this one on Warren over here. How does... Why is that deadly Derringer? Why? Why? The deadly was specially crafted for discreet assassinations of heads of state. After two shots, allows two shots per turn. Oh, that's pretty good then. And I'm gonna give it to her then. She's gonna be the, like the femme fatale. She's interesting. Her face. Uh, mm -hmm. So Western rifle. Yeah, I want that. I want that. I think I want that more than I want this navy gun. Let's use that instead. And she is gonna take... Oh, she has a pretty good pistol anyway, so... Yeah, that pistol is pretty awesome. This one is not, on the other hand. So let's use that one over there. And we are good to go. So we have two six shooters over here that we are, don't need, so we could sell them. Uh, but I think we might have find new new party members later, like... Well, a few more, at least. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So, for right now, I'm gonna go to the trade outpost, and we're gonna sell those six shooters that I don't need. So the proprietor, as always, was eager to exchange goods with us. So let's... We, we sold them. We sold goods. So player inventory. So can I just... Okay, so how does that work? You can just... Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's confirm. Total shop value. How do I... So how does that work? So... Okay, so... Can I write stuff? No, I can't. Oh, I can just hold it. Okay, good. I should be able to write stuff in here with my keyboard, but I can't. Okay, let's confirm. Uh, so I will sell, because, okay, I, I don't want to just give away my stuff. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's how it works. I got a double shotgun over here. Don't need that. Um, dried herbs, on the other hand. That would probably be a good thing. Let's buy a few. Let's buy a few. Let's buy, like, six, yeah. And then the cash, you can keep the cash. I don't need the... I don't need... Yeah. Uh, ooh, it balances automatically. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, and it said there. I didn't pay attention. Uh, so what else do you have? Tobacco. Don't want that. Actually, tobacco improves aim. Nah, don't want that. Sturdy boots. Sturdy boots. Yes, I do want that. Thank you. So let's, let me give you some cash myself. Auto. Yeah, there it is. And it's going to give me 20 cash. I'm going to give him 40 and all the rest goes there. Ding! There it is. There it is. So let me look at my inventory now. And uh, so the Mexican is not going to raise taxes anymore, I hope. So dried healing, how the hell does... Can I use that on whoever? You're still afflicted by that. That's a terrible thing. How the hell do I get out that, that away from you? Uh, anyway, let's put that. What is that? A relic? Grand healing over time for allied in radius. Mm. Let's do that. Let's do that. And sturdy boots. I have two? Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect then. Just use those. How the hell did... Didn't notice that. But, oh, actually, I don't want you with those. I want him with those. There you go. So we're good to go. From this side of things, let's explore something else before we go there. This is the crossroads. Oh, that's, that, that does not sound nice. 
There it is. Some folks said that just before sunrise, there was an electric feeling out of on the uh, packed earth of the crossroads. This game, you know what? This game has a very supernatural feel to it. I'm talking about the series here. And it's a series that I watched for like five seasons and I enjoyed my time with it. I just stopped watching because it was, meh, whatever. But um, yeah, but I, I really like the feeling. This, I, I really like the setting of this game. There was an electric feeling out on the packed earth of the crossroads. The kind that makes your hair stand on end and send shivers down your spine. Some swore they'd met a man there, well-dressed and well-spoken, who offered them a tempting deal. It doesn't have yellow eyes, though, so we're fine. He could make you powerful in return for a piece of yourself. No, 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 no. The man smiled, tipped his hat, then, then turned on his heel and left the crossroads. After a few steps, he had disappeared, though the night was crisp and clear. Okay, yeah. That guy is definitely the devil, and he's always the same guy, so I don't know how these guys haven't figured it out. But we have. We definitely have. I'm gonna try and look for a way to get um, Warren Reed of that affliction over here. That is a terrible... That is a terrible thing. Amulet curse is probably not a good thing. Not a good thing either. But, yeah, everybody's got the amulet curse. We need to leave that as soon as possible. But we're gonna do that next time. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Hard West. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!